Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. This is a BAM Credit Insights video for the upcoming sale of $58 million of taxable revenue bonds by Fond du Lac County, Wisconsin. They're going to finance the Bug Tussle Wireless Project, which is an effort to bring broadband to rural areas of Wisconsin. I'm here with Gia Calabrese from BAM's uh, East Region Capital Markets, who underwrote the transaction for BAM. Gia, thanks for taking some time to talk about this. Thanks, Mike. So this is an unusual transaction for the uh, muni market. What is Buck Tussle Wireless and what will this transaction finance? Yeah, so Buck Tussle Wireless is a private company that's been around for about 20 years. They provide wireless and fiber optic networks to bring high-speed internet to underserved rural areas in Wisconsin. Uh, this transaction will finance the acquisition and construction of telecommunications infrastructure, specifically wireless towers and fiber optic data transmission facilities, and the connection of individual premises into the broadband network. Uh, Bug Tussle is the borrower, and they'll repay the bonds from revenues generated from the operation of the system, but the bonds also benefit from a guarantee from three Wisconsin counties where the work is taking place. And that municipal tie-in is why BAN is involved as a municipal bond insurer. Who are those counties, and, and how will the transaction work? What's the structure? Yeah, so there have been several Bug Tussle transactions for different areas of Wisconsin. This transaction will finance work in Fond du Lac County, Oneida, and Outagamie counties. If the broadband system revenues are insufficient to make the payments due on the bonds, investors will initially be repaid from debt service reserve fund, and the three counties have pledged to replenish that fund anytime it's called upon to make payments on a pro rata basis based on the percentage of the work that happens in each county. Uh, the guarantees are general obligations of each county, so we took a broad look at their economies, population levels, property tax bases, and financial positions, and the economic and financial trends in all of these counties are stable or consistently improving, and their overall debt burdens, including these bonds, are manageable. And so we should say these bonds are going to be rated AA with a stable outlook. That's due to Bailed American Mutual's guarantee. Uh, there's an underlying rating we expect to be uh, AA minus. That's from Standard & Poor's Global Ratings, and uh, they'll be marketed next week by UBS Financial Services. Uh, anything else to add? Nope, that's it. Overall, the counties are all very credit worthy entities, and that's further highlighted by the fact that the bonds have the double A minus underlying rating from S&P based on a weakest link analysis of the county geos. And obviously, uh, wireless uh, broadband and broadband investment generally is in the news right now uh, with the uh, significant federal commitment to that. We'll see if this is a structure that gets uh, replicated elsewhere in the country. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Gia. Have a great weekend. Thanks.